So today we're reviewing The Predator. <laughs> we're not gonna do uh, all the Predator movies leading up to the obviously the new release, The Predator coming out uh, tomorrow actually. Because they just kind of... There's too many. There's too many, and they kind of get out of uh, what they really should have been doing with the quality of the movies. The second one I haven't honestly seen all the way through. The second one's decent, but the we're... Alien vs. Predator I liked, but we're just going to strictly review the original movie which, that started it all. That's just like the first all-time one. classic. The Predator starring Arnold. Uh, A lot of well-known actors. Yeah, this movie, for us especially, obviously it's well-received by most people, but... Uh, it's just an all-time classic. So many great moments. I guess for initial thoughts, really. Not really initial thoughts, yeah, just what we think about thoughts. it. Definitely really love this movie. It's uh, one of those just perfect all, all-time movies that you can just watch whenever it's on. Just enjoy it. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best movies of all time. And you, I can say that very confidently. It's a movie that just gets better and better each time you watch it. And amazing characters, great story, and just a great movie. Really, nothing is wrong with it that I can see. Watch it over and over. It's just such a perfect movie. I guess there's no such thing as a perfect movie, yeah, but, but this is a co as close as it gets. So I guess so. for getting into like specific moments, obviously like memorable moments. I mean, honestly, every scene has memorable lines, so we're not gonna hit every single one here. But okay. I guess just starting from the beginning to the end, just the opening, honestly, the way that uh, you see his crew, his uh, unit, show up to this uh, just random spot somewhere in another country. Just yeah. getting out of the helicopter to that music, like that kind of theme song of the movie. Yeah, the, yeah. Just is really cool leading into one of the greatest scenes in a movie where he uh, is talking to some general about what his mission is going to be. And he asks why they have to send him to the other side of the border. So Dutch, Dutch the Dutch main Dutch. character Arnold, uh, he comes in and talking to the general. And uh, Dylan is sitting across the hallway and says this famous line here leading into the just, best handshake. Yeah. Dylan! Son of a bitch. Yeah, in the they, of you can just tell, you don't even know, the, this is the first time you've seen this world, like this world, this movie, and that scene alone just sets up that these two know each other from the past. You don't need a 20 minute backstory, it just shows you know, that they know each other. They, have, they share like a funny joke with each other about why, uh, why Dutch was beating him in the arm wrestling com uh, contest they had. And then just that b leads into the helicopter scene where the music's blaring and you just see his team and once again, these are characters that you're just being introduced to, and it just sets them up perfectly. Like that, the biggest guy, the really huge guy, is just talking a lot of stuff Blaine. on the. On the Blaine is talking a lot of stuff on the on the helicopter. He spits onto Dylan's shoe. There's another character, Which, Hawkins, who uh, I'm pretty that's Hawkins, who uh, is also saying a lot of funny jokes that leads into a really funny scene later on. Yeah, the, going to the characters, I'm gonna list the actors' names. So Arnold is obviously amazing as Dutch, and then. <laughs> Sonny Landam, I don't know how to say his name, is Billy, which is the Native American, and he is amazing. And there's Hawkins, who... Wait, Hawkins is the guy... Hawkins who, is the guy who directs the... He's, yeah. That's Shane Black, the guy yeah, who's Shane directing Black. the new Predator. And he's amazing. There's... Not oh, the Predator. There's... Carl Weathers is Dylan. Like, Dylan, and Dylan's amazing. And Jesse Ventura is the Blaine, who is amazing. Bill Duke is Mac. He's also amazing. I guess, but the helicopter scene happens, and then the whole storyline that I love so much about this movie is, it's not them going after a predator. They don't even know the predator honestly exists as a thing, really, until, like, almost more than halfway through the movie. It's because special their mission is to go and take out some terrorist base, basically. I think, it, well, not terrorist, but at the time, like, enemy yeah, base. Just, yeah. Gorilla. And and, yeah, gorilla. It's basically like that. And they're going through the woods. They find the little, like, base they have. And that scene where they take that out is just amazing. There's so many great sequences where you see, uh... Just how it starts with this line. What the fuck? It, yeah, just like... Because he, he literally rolls down this thing down the hill. That blows up. And uh, also, just... There was a helicopter that's taking off. At, and the, that they try to take off in the middle as they realize they're getting destroyed. And our uncle thought that that helicopter didn't didn't uh, didn't have a prayer getting out of there. Uh, <laughs> no, it does. Just the just, wait. there's just so many during these like there's, there's just so many one liners that are just so great. Like during this action sequence, there's like two moments I know for sure. I'll say in a second after you say what you want to say. Well, I just wanted to know, the 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 f bombs that are dropped in this movie. That's one thing that I really hope this next movie they're used there's, effectively. There's later Predator movies where people just drop the f bomb. 
every second. Every other, it just, every it other just word. Feels stupid. And that's just and but, after, it's just not good anymore. Yeah, in the in this movie, you have though, to space it out. In this movie, they're used actually like to where well, they're Honestly, funny it's first less. of all. And they're not they even used that much, but the and because they're not used as much, they're great in the little moments they have. Uh, and there's also just in the middle of this fight sequence, well, towards the end of it, there's still there's still bad guys there that could kill him. And Hawkins tells Billy a joke, and Billy just starts to laugh like during this scene. And this one, this laugh right here. <laughs> yeah, and this is you know this is a movie that definitely couldn't have been made today. And I think that's on, honestly a reason why it's such yeah. a great movie. This movie would not have been made today. No, and. Well, I mean, we'll see. Not that we'll, we'll see tomorrow when we think true. of this new one. Because apparently Jeez, there's, there's some jokes that Jeremy's kind of hinted about that may be reminiscent of the last one, which I don't, they're not going to top. Is, well, who knows? We'll see it. I don't think they're going to top it. Who knows? But I just don't think. I'll have to be proved wrong. Yeah. Here. So, okay. So, that they built up to that moment. Then they win that. Then they realize, well, Dutch realizes that, well, not, so I think Billy helps him realize that they really were sent on this mission for another reason. Not Obviously, they wanted to kill those people, but they were... They were trying to do something else. So it sets up conflict. And that sets up some conflict characters. between the characters. Like Dylan and Dutch, who seem to have this perfect relationship, don't have a perfect relationship. And he finds used. out that he was being used. Dylan, Dylan says that uh, that he woke up and, like, why doesn't Dutch? And then he but throws like, him against the wall. Yeah. I forgot another line is, in this scene is when Dutch throws a knife and stabs someone through the <laughs> wall and he says this line right here. Yeah. Stick around. Oh yeah, there's definitely, Arnold has so many memorable lines in this movie, but that's the thing I just wanted to say, is that these characters, I mean, especially Dylan and, wait, Dylan and Dutch, they're just yeah, they're, they're, so they're the two convincing. Main characters, I mean, basically. like, I mean, that's, that scene you said where you said, I woke up, why don't you? It's like, they're so convincing, no, and the, whole, and the, the acting is so and they're amazing. they're all built like, like they're warriors. Like, I, I, Actually, I, like, 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 I believe that, that these guys are not only, like, uh, great soldiers and fighters, but... That I also believe, like they've been together for like a hundred years before this, and yeah. I'd never seen these guys before. Like they seem like a perfect team, perfect chemistry. The first one I can think of is when Predator, because you see that that uh, uh, Blaine is like this huge guy, like he can't be killed by anything. I was say he, he yeah. just gets shot through his chest, this huge hole. He dies, which sets off Mac, and then they just start shooting into the woods for one of the greatest scenes in this movie. Uh, which is just and they focus and, and they focus on the guns like they're it's, it's amazing to see like they're just wasting this entire forest and then you realize they they Mac did hit the predator yes. slightly there but then the rest of their shots are completely wasting their ammo well, and but that's just like, and that's the first time you see them and, and at that point you still don't even know what the predator looks like yeah and that's the thing you, a lot of when the movie goes by and you don't know what he looks like and the an interesting thing is that people don't see what it looks like. So when he's trying to describe it, there's so little information actually given. In a movie, like a, a really bad movie, it'd probably be like, I know exactly what it looks like. It would show itself, but it literally didn't. They took him a while to even figure out what it looked like. You see, that that's when you kind of see his like really cool, like at this time, it's a really cool effect. They make him look like he's camouflaging into the trees. Yeah. You see his eyes flash there, but then, and you kind of see the the green blood that he, that he had. Uh... And then after that, they slowly get picked off one by one in some classic uh, death scenes where I guess we can kind of talk about Mac's uh, death scene, which is kind of attached with uh, Dylan, where Dylan and him are both... Yeah. Uh, he's like... Oh, he, well, first, you want to say that scene with, well, the, with first, the scorpion? Well, yeah, the thing, yeah, this, there's a scene where Dylan... Is that Dylan? Yeah, Dylan yeah. has a scorpion on his back, and Mac tells him to come over here, and then he stab. It looks like he's stabbing him, and he kills a scorpion... And he's like, he says thanks, and he says anytime. Anytime. And then and that's the predator, really used. Yeah, predator. Yeah, is, that's a really. That's the other cool thing is he's like, you don't know, is he trying to like, is he trying to learn what these people are saying? Is he, like, what is he there for? And he's like yeah. listening. He's, he's just like taking. He, yeah, he's recording all their stuff. And that's yeah. the thing about this, that the aspect of this being a horror movie, I can totally understand, is it gets Mac saying anytime, which he is really kind of insane. Yeah. And well, he, he is, is insane. Once but, once Blaine dies, he really snaps and loses it, which you like, understand. Yeah, and he like he scares Dylan in one scene, but then Dylan is out in the forest and he hears any time he hears yeah. what Max said, and he turns around and, and he, he uses sees that him dead. Him. He's like, oh, it's yeah. like a horror movie there. But he, he, that was a, that was a really cool scene. Like, you see him dead, then he gets shot, and he's still shooting his gun with with his arm after it's cut off. Yeah, I don't know. That's, about that's, that. a, that's one thing though about that. Someone said the predator is like. He wasn't uh, fighting fair. No, he was. Because every time, he only used his gun when the person had a gun. Yeah. And when... Which, is, just which, like which that, obviously, towards his... the end, we'll be able to talk more about like how he really 
doesn't want to take advantage. Of, he wants to actually beat yeah. the person. Because more even more. when Max or when Dylan's arm gets shot off, then he attacks him with a knife. Yeah, he's like he was fighting perfectly. Which fair. is just a really that's the kind of stuff and just that the, the brutalness of, of the way that he, he's just this awesome warrior guy. And he rips uh, out the people's spine. Yeah, you it's also see that kind of earlier. You see like how he he dangles him from the trees. He skins him alive. Then there's also. Uh, then there's a scene where like he, uh, they had set traps, which setting the trap scene when they were all together is really cool because you see it once again. You see how these are not fake actors; like these are strong, like literally strong people. There's no CGI; yeah. they're like ripped, like pulling the, tr the branches back and like yeah, trying to outsmart the predator in a cool way. And then something triggers one of the things one night, and uh, Mac had killed like this giant warthog, and uh, and they start laughing at him, and he has like a couple really cool lines there. He's like, it's like "F you." <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no, that's, he says, that's the he night says, before you, they all die. You think he could have caught something bigger? And yeah. Like, F you. And then, and then obviously they all die except for the girl, and he, she, and he, he has get one of the greatest the lines: "Get to the chopper," which you hear all the time. You hear people joke about Most that. Famous line out of this. And movie, then probably. that goes into his final fight, basically. When first you see, he learns that he can't see through mud, and uh, he sets up a lot of traps himself, and then he. He has a great yell after he's ready for the predator to come well, out. Before he falls off the cliff, there's also a great line. And then he does the yell. And he's like, oh, crap. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like Arnold just has so many lines. Yeah. Like, everyone does. Like, uh, everyone does. Everyone but does. Arnold does. Uh, and then, obviously, he he ends up fighting the predator. And then he wants him to walk closer where he can set that tra uh, trap off. And he, he the predator outsmarts him and sees that he was going to get trapped. Uh, and then, obviously, he does win. Obviously, and then uh, yeah. Predator starts to laugh like Mac, or no, like Billy, yeah. and uh, sets a, sets like a bomb off, and then he runs, and it just it's just one of the greatest movies of all time. Park. If you haven't seen this movie, you have to see You're missing to out. If you're a movie, movie fan at all, you have to see this movie. A movie uh, like this will never be made again. No, and I guess we're just going to our final scores, obviously. Yeah. For me, it's an easy one. It's a 10 out of 10. Uh, like I said, my only complaint was the girl, because she... Uh, she kind of was responsible for a couple guys' deaths because she was being stupid with, like, constantly trying to run away, which I but can understand from her standpoint a little bit because she doesn't know who these people are. But that's, once again, it's not... That's not even a complaint. It's just a kind of yeah. annoying thing. But there has to be annoying characters in a movie. Like, there's how yeah. yeah, I'll just give this a 10 out of 10 because it, I just said it was a perfect movie. Absolutely perfect. That was our... Uh, basically, that was our review of uh, Predator, of The Predator from... I'm not sure what the year is. We'll, we'll put 19... it in the title so that way we know it's not the new one because it's all the same thing. It's 1980 uh, something. Yeah, so that was our review of The Predator. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Kenny gave it a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect movie in our opinion. And we'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye, guys. Thanks.